three, two, one. Hi there, welcome to my channel. Our vlog for today is about the 5 common systems in marine engineering. If you are a student, or you are viewing for the incoming interview, exam, or thread test, you need to know this because it will help you. In the next minutes of this video, I will tackle about fuel oil system, lubrication oil system, compressed air system or start air system, fresh water system, seawater cooling system, and etc and if you want to learn more about marine engineering don't forget to like and subscribe so let's start now fuel oil system ship fuel oil system is the system designed to store deliver and recirculate the fuel needed to run the main engine boiler and auxiliary generators the system basically consists of settling tank transfer pumps fuel oil separators service tank heating coils if applicable, and the suction and discharge pipe. Second system is the lubrication oil system. Lubrication system is responsible for reducing friction between surfaces which rub each other in all rotating parts in the engine. It also functions as coolant of some heating metals. Lubrication system basically consists of lube oil pump, lube oil cooler, lube oil filters, suction and ex house lines and the oil the third system is the compressed air system compressed air system is the source of power used to provide the initial rotation of, to start a large diesel engine this system is also used to give pressures on tanks and for cleaning purposes also this system basically composed of air compressor motors and air compressor tanks and Hoses or lines. The fourth system in marine engineering is the fresh water cooling system. This system is responsible for regulating the needed temperature of the engine to work. Where fresh water decreases the metal temperature through conduction by the use of heat exchangers. This type of basically composed of fresh water tank heat exchangers, freeze water pump, and uh, thermostats. The fifth system is the seawater cooling system. This system is responsible for decreasing the temperature of the freeze water system through conducting by the heat exchangers. This system is basically composed of seawater pump, seat chest valve, and the sensors on sea chest holes.